Hi, this is Frank here with Die Hard RC Addicts, and today we're going to be building this mini 250 size quadcopter that we just got from banggood.com. So let's jump in and get started. After taking a quick look at the instructions, it looks like we're going to have to put together the lower frame first. So let me get the ESC soldered up and soldered onto the distribution board, and I'll also solder up the battery connector and the LEDs. Here's what it looks like with everything soldered onto the distribution board the LEDs, the ESCs, and the battery plug. I ended up using an XT60 um, because all my batteries, that's what they have on. It didn't come with the kit, so you'll have to provide your own. You can use either that or a Dean's plug should solder on no problem. It also came with these other little connectors here. I don't have the female side of the connectors, so I left them off the distribution board. But they're there, so you can also tap into the 12 volts for anything else that you want to add on to it. Um, example, maybe you want to add your FPV camera and the transmitter right off the distribution board. You could run them right off of there. So now we're going to go ahead and bolt the four arms on and the lower piece of the lower deck. And then afterwards we can solder up the motors and put them on the arms. The lower plate of the lower deck is now attached along with the four arms. And I've already soldered up the connectors on the motors and connected them up to the speed controllers. And on the top side, we have all four of the motors mounted, and we're ready to start working on the upper deck. So now we're going to get the Open Pilot CC 3D board mounted to the lower plate of the upper frame, and I'm going to be using this 3M double-sided sticky tape to do it. Now that the control board is mounted to the lower part of the upper frame, we can go ahead and attach the standoffs, and also put the bobbins on the lower part of the frame to attach the lower part of the upper frame to the bottom frame. As you can see, I've gone ahead and finished the build on this mini 250 size quadcopter. The props are now on the motors. I've gone ahead and attached the upper deck to the lower deck using the rubber bobbins. And I've also added some zip ties around them for a safety feature, just in case the quadcopter does get in a crash. That way the upper frame won't separate from the lower frame. Temporarily, I have the speed controllers wired up to the control board. I'll be going over that in the next video when we do the radio setup and the setup of the CC3D board. We're pretty much done with the build portion of this mini 250 size quadcopter, so I'd like to take the time now to thank banggood.com for sending it to us. Also guys, stay tuned for part three. I'll be getting to filming that as soon as we get back from visiting family over the Thanksgiving holidays. I know that's gonna make it a little bit longer till it comes out, but please be patient. And until then, thanks for watching Die Hard RC Addicts.